The Hopkinton Public Ice Rink was officially opened with a ribbon cutting ceremony. In attendance, Parks and Recreations Colleen Allen and Robert Dabinsky, Claire Wright, Hopkinton Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Kathy McLeod, Selectman Todd Sestari, and Parks and Recreations Kevin Nathan. You can see more photos of the event at seeninhopkinton.org. HCAM News was on the scene to catch up with some of the people responsible for helping with the process. This is, uh, this is a great event. It's a great collaboration between the uh, school, the new superintendent, Kathy McLeod, the chairman of uh, the selectmen, Todd Sestari. The town has enabled us to uh, embark on kind of a fun event, uh, something to keep everybody moving in the winter, even on these kind of cold days. So between uh, the water department, the police department, the fire department, the DPW, it's, it, it's really nice to see the, the community all come together with something as great as this. I just wanted to say thank you. It's a wonderful opportunity for, for everybody. It's great to have the school buildings and the school grounds being used by the community. Um, and it's been wonderful. I was here last night late for a meeting and there were some students out um, enjoying it, just having a fun time. And I like that idea, that just the idea of being active in the winter, um, that's what I grew up with. And I think it's just wonderful to have these opportunities along with the, the Department of Recreation, so Parks and Recreation. So thank you. And this weather is pretty ideal for this ice. We were, ha we were happy to get the ice online last Tuesday. And uh, it should be mentioned that the entire idea came about from a conversation I had with Claire Wright. Uh, active member in town for a long period of time and she said uh, Rob how about a how about a hockey rink or a, a skating rink on the town common town common because of its terrain wouldn't allow that but in some collaboration again with Kath and buildings and grounds here in Hopkinton this is the perfect spot for it lights up until 10 o'clock how long did it take to put the rink fully together well we started right after the leaves started stopped falling and then uh, as soon as we felt as though, and Colleen Allen from the Park and Rec Department has some experience with the ice, thought it was going to be cold enough to get four or five days of, of continued uh, ice making, we filled it, again with the uh, help of the uh, fire department and the water department, and we were up and running, like I said, last Tuesday. So probably around four or five days. Well, it seems to be very successful. People seem to be enjoying it a lot, and it'll be another fun winter activity in Hopkinton. Uh, we hope so. We hope to go ahead and continue it in many years and months to come. All right, so I'm here with Claire Wright. Claire, you're a skater. You must love this. We love this. Skating is the most wonderful outdoor sport for both adults as well as kids. In fact, in uh, U.S. figure skating, the adult skating community is the fastest growing group of skaters in the country. And uh, so I'm looking forward to sharing this with other people and having people really get bitten by the skating bug. Now I saw you doing some impressive tricks out there. How long have you been skating for? <laughs> I skated since I was little, but then probably back in the, about 20 years ago, my husband and I started skating as adults and competing. We competed in adult pairs, and um, so we've had lots and lots of miles. We've traveled uh, with, with uh, good skating memories. All right, well, this must be a great activity for you all winter long. I'm going to be here. <laughs> all right. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Keep cutting. Let's do it. Bob did a really good one. Ah! <laughs>